Hello everyone, I'm Officer Ashwell with the Central Point Police Department and you're watching Traffic Safety First. In today's episode, we're going to discuss what the traffic laws state a driver must do if they're driving and a pedestrian comes into the roadway. Let's go. Most of the time, drivers are aware of traffic laws relating to pedestrians in crosswalks and at intersections. But did you know there are traffic laws regarding what a driver must do if a pedestrian is in the roadway under other circumstances? To help us out in this episode, we will use a bouncy ball to represent pedestrians in our examples. You might be driving along in a residential neighborhood and you see someone riding a skateboard on the sidewalk. All of a sudden, the skateboard starts rolling into the roadway and the owner starts chasing after it. Immediately stopping your vehicle to prevent hitting them might be your reaction as a driver, but ORS 811.028 outlines your duty as a driver to remain stopped until that person is safely out of the roadway. In more technical terms, the ORS states a driver must stop and remain stopped for a pedestrian if they are in one of these two circumstances. The first is the most obvious. If a pedestrian is proceeding in accordance with a traffic control device or using a crosswalk, but the second gets a little more technical. You must stop and remain stopped if a pedestrian is in one of the following locations. The lane the driver is in, the lane next to the lane the driver is in, the lane which the driver is turning into, and the lane next to the lane into which the driver is turning. Failure to stop and remain stopped for a pedestrian could result in a Class B traffic violation, which carries a fine of $265. But there's one more traffic law that's extremely important to note here. ORS 811.005 explains how both pedestrians and drivers are responsible for exercising due care, regardless of the details of other traffic laws. This means nothing excuses a driver from their duty to pay attention to their surroundings, and if something appears it might become out of place, to ensure you have time to react accordingly if needed. For example, say you see a kiddo playing on the side of the roadway playing with the ball, and you don't think that that kid is in any danger of leaving the sidewalk or side of the road to enter the road, but you have to drive as if that were a possibility. And that's a wrap for our 29th episode. Have a great holiday season, everyone.